Wow. Listen, yeah. listen. They said they said one person said that uh, they died for thirteen minutes and went to hell, and Jesus showed him hell. You know what I'm saying? Like he showed him basically hell, and he basically was like, uh, like God, like he's like, am I dead? And he was like, you're dead for now. But let me show you something. He's like, he showed him hell or whatever, and he showed him different celebrities that was down there in hell. And he was like, the shit that they were doing on Earth is the shit that they're still doing down in the hell, but it's not like it's for pleasure, yo. They're getting tortured by doing it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, they were like, they do say it was a comedian who um who committed suicide on, you know what I'm saying, here. And he was in hell. And he was down there in hell doing stand-up while demons was calling at his fucking skin. Like, yeah, he, was like it was, he said he was like it was roaches and rats and everything down there. Yo. He was like, it was just so nasty and it was just crazy. And that's when, when it was almost over, that's when God basically, like Jesus told him, like, go back and tell my people what you saw. And... You know what I'm saying? I pray that you change your ways because I don't want you to be down here. Because what people got to understand is, and I hope y'all to listen to, is every soul God gets, the devil gets too. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah. No, 100%. I never knew God went to went to hell for three days. Like my mind Jesus did. Right now. Jesus did. Jesus went to hell for three days. Jesus yeah, I never knew that. Let never me tell you a story. I gotta tell my mom and them this tomorrow when they wake up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me tell you a story. So right, I had gotten to a real bad car accident. It's literally the weirdest situation ever happened to me mentally was because I don't know if I was unconscious or if I was like temporarily dead I don't know I think I might have been unconscious but it's weird let me just tell you a story so I'm a certified mixologist so when I graduated from bartending school me and my friends we celebrated and we were on our way back to my baby father's house and I was in the back seat texting on my phone and the next you know everything went black and I was confused because I couldn't see and I remember thinking why can't I see why can't I see why can't I see and I'm trying to make myself see and I'm trying to make myself see but I can't see anything everything is pitch black and then when I came back to consciousness you know we were upside down the car flipped two times and all the windows was busted out the car and everybody's screaming you know get out the car get out the car and i had to crawl out the window but like it was total darkness it was nothing like you think i was just unconscious or you think that was like probably was unconscious. Probably was unconscious. But, I, but i could hear myself though you know I can hear myself thinking, why can't I see? Why can't I see? Yeah, you're probably unconscious. Your mind, you know what I'm saying? You definitely probably was unconscious. Um, you was seeing pitch black. You didn't see anything? It was anything. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, it was, was pitch black. Definitely probably unconscious. Yeah, you probably, probably passed out for a little bit. I got knocked the fuck out because I hit my head on the yeah. roof of the car. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. definitely. All right, so can I ask you a question? Because... I like, like for like a long time, I used to always go see psychics, and like mm. they said it was yeah, bad. Like, great, great. Yeah, don't they don't ever was, see them. They said it was, I'll tell you, I'll I, tell I mean, you I, 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 right I, now, don't ever see them. Yeah, had a that's... real bad, like real bad, like you know, real bad, fucking obsession with them. Like I was spending money. To go see them, like it was like, it, like even like when my daughter's father had passed away, I kind of lost my mind a little bit. So like I used to, I I, I went and seen a medium too. You know what I'm saying? I I haven't been, I haven't been to a psychic in like, like, like ten months. You know, like ten months. Like this, but 
I've been wanting to go back, go back. No, no, don't do it. Yeah, don't ever go to them. Don't do it, yo. Psychics ain't nothing but oh. black magic. It's but, witchcraft. It's I mean, witchcraft. It's witchcraft. It's, it's, uh, not for, it's not of God. That's basically the devil's work. That's witchcraft. Yeah. Really? Yes. That psychic shit is witchcraft. Because number one, nobody can tell you the future when the only person that knows it is God. Even they, when they be they on play. point? Yeah. Because they can just they make a great, they just make a they great guess. They can just make a great guess. They get in, they get into your consciousness. Dude, you're told something. Like, think about it like this. Like, if somebody gives you a, a idea, think about that idea over and over again. How the universe area and all that works is typically you run into that idea that you was given. Now, mm -hmm. it's like with a with a psychic, it's ten times more powerful because they do be doing witchcraft stuff. Let me ask you a question. So like, too. if I say if I say elephants, what do what all y'all think about? Trump. Y'all think about Africa. elephants. <laughs> yeah, but y'all y'all think about elephants. So like, just just by me speaking it, y'all already thinking about it. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you ever heard the term of you speaking something into existence? That's a real terminology. Well, then we say yeah. that shit today. We said that shit today on the podcast. You said that shit about the female. Yeah, that's a real terminology. So they get into your brain and your mind, and then they got their little. Not, not even that. Not on. even they get that. Powerful. Not even that, Jules. It, okay, you said you was going to uh, psychics, right? Mm hmm. All right, now let me tell you this, sir. Sure. Like, now, imagine you're dead, all right? Imagine your dad coming to you when you were younger and telling you, yo, whatever you're going through, whatever, however you feel, I'll always be here coming to me. But instead of you coming to him, you go and see a psychic. That's going to make him feel some type of way. That's right. how that's how I feel with God. Because God's like, why are you going to that person and not coming to me? Yeah. You know okay. what I'm saying? And then that, that and then that person right there, you know what I'm saying, is practicing some stuff that's not even holy or in my divine. I mean divine. That person is practicing some stuff that gets you closer to hell than closer to heaven. Mm. Think about it like that. Alright, so um because I have a friend too that's um that's really, you know, um, big into religion and stuff. And I told him that I had went to a psychic before, which I did, and I spent like 400. And she gave me, this shit's going to sound so crazy now that I'm talking about it. But she gave me uh, two crystals, told me to hey. keep one, mm -mm. right? This is what mm. she did. She told me to keep one, right? And I kept one. And damn, this just sounds crazy. Oh my God. She told me to go bury it mm -mm. in front of a cross. Nope. And that's what I did. Nope. Okay. But I, it has but good, I feel like. Have, have good things happen? No. 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 no and now let me I'm tell you why. Talking about it, let me tell you why good things didn't happen. Let me tell you why. Because. That whole crystal shit like that, oh, you take crystal here, you put crystal on there, yo. They basically just said, yo, part of me, something of inside me is basically in that crystal and is buried. Something of you. It could be, you know what I'm saying, one of your emotions. It could be, you know what I'm saying, one of your traits or something. You basically just bury something that's not supposed to be buried. Mm. But what but what happened so afterwards you said everything okay, fell apart. Yeah, like a lot of shit. Like a lot of stuff like it just oh. like relationship wise, um Yeah. Like I fell back into my depression. And look at that. Like I was depressed. Oh. Like, and look at that. It was a lot that And what is that? That's that's basically uh, so basically that, the of... light of your soul 
is basically trapped inside that crystal, buried. So I, so I have to go get that shit. Break that uh -huh. fucking crystal. I don't think you should fuck with it. <laughs> No, I, I think she should get no officially. I'm no, I'm think I'm I'm be honest. I think she should get it and break that fucking crystal to release her fucking shit back. Cause that's it. How the she, fuck do I bring a crystal? You better get a hammer and start banging at that bitch. <laughs> you don't know what the, what that's gonna do because you don't know what the yeah, spell is. Nah. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, nah, you ain't gotta do that. All you gotta do is put your faith in. And yeah, put your faith in the guy. Oh, you know what? Yeah. He gonna take care of it. Go and get baptized. Go get baptized. Why, I think. I, I think the reason. Time. After the fact. You After that whole Christmas shit. You ain't gotta do it once. You ain't gotta do it once. Yeah, yeah do it again. Do it as, as get your soul cleansed. Get your soul cleansed, yo. Yeah. Cause being baptized is not, exactly. It's not a one-time thing, yo. But the being thing is, is <clears throat> that's how they. That's what they do. See, they they trap your mind, and you think that you did something. So pretty much, what you did was. You, it's almost like you pitch your faith in them psychics instead of God. You feel me? I said that. So that's why everything so starts bad. You know, ooh, you know what? For all, for all you know, she probably like, oh, this girl got some money on her. She just spent four hundred dollars. Let me make sure she always comes back to me. Do some voodoo on your ass to make sure you always come back. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, I went back. I mean, I went back once, but you know, when I told my mom that shit, she freaked out on me. Yeah, you know, don't do that. Kinda, you don't do that. Yo, like I said, that's the type of shit that's yeah. like that. Like that type stuff is. Oh, yo, my my parents was telling me not to ever do that, John, since I was a kid. No, you don't play with stuff like that, yo, because you're playing with beings beyond your control. Like a Ouija board. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right, you're conjuring. You're I've conjuring. Never, I, think about this, this show. Let me ask you this show. Did you ever think about you doing that? Basically, just like that. That crystal basically got your protection off of you, yo. So now you got many demons on you now. Because everybody be having again? that crystal. When you bury that crystal or something like that, yo. Your protection, on you know saying your holy protection is basically why in that fucking crystal. Up, why don't we look up what that what burying a crystal can do? Let me see. Let me. I'll look that shit right, right now. I'll look that shit right now. Yeah, right because now. you know what? But you know what, y'all? I believe, like, I, I seriously, I have, I buried it right at the beach in Asbury on Belmar. It, it's a, it's a fucking, it's a fucking pavilion where they do church under the pavilion, or whatever. But it's a big wooden cross on the beach. So she told me to, you know, say a prayer on it, whatever. She said everything that you're going through or whatever would just, like, slowly but surely fall off you, whatever. Bury it and then bring one home with you. Then she gave me this little candle. She told me to light it at night. Light it at night and just, like, uh, meditate or whatever. So yeah. I'm like, well, you know, because, you know, like, I... Like, I, yeah, that's I mean, all witch. That's all witchcraft. Yeah, like, what the fuck that's, did I do? That's definitely witchcraft that's and... Stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely some so like and all right. that with crystals. That's all. Right. That's all. Right. Like you can. Yeah. All right. Here, I definitely gotta call it. my pastor tomorrow. Hold on, just said it to like, you. Hey, hey, I don't even wanna. I, I don't wanna throw the crystal in the garbage or do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I still have it. Like I don't wanna just throw it in the garbage because I don't know if it's something I have to do to reverse that shit. But. I don't they even, do it's, like, not even saying, it's not even saying nothing. It's not even really saying nothing about it, for real. Burying a crystal in front of a wooden cross. Right, after yeah. saying a prayer with it. That you have to really, like she said, that like, you have to really, you have to stand in front of the, you have to stand in front of the cross, say a prayer first, and then bury it. I, I, I don't, I swear to God, I would take my brother and my sister tomorrow with me to find that shit. see. Yeah, I'm really not saying that on it. Like, yeah, oh my God. Out. I mean, like, she had me, like, the person I was in a relationship with, and we wasn't even on bad terms, but the person I was in a relationship with, I was so fucking caught up in seeing him and, like, believing in him. Like, she, she had me send her a picture of the person I was dealing with. Wait, what? Yeah. No, say that again. And like I said, I was so I was so like really deep into him, you know. She had me send her a person, 
the, the person that I was dealing with, she had me send her a picture of them. It was like, you know, I'm going to make sure everything is fine with y'all. And I thought it was weird, so I went to another site and they told me to do the same shit. But I still did it. And, like, yeah, like, our relationship is, like, fucked right now. <laughs> like, bad. Let's see, Barry and the Cross, witchcraft. Yeah, I'm, you know, we're not finding nothing on it. I don't know. Mama, I'm just not. I'm gonna talk to my pastor tomorrow though because yeah, yeah, I need to. That 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 right there is definitely some stuff you gotta definitely think, think about, yo, because that's some real deep stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying? that 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 sounds like it sounds like it's part of a ritual or some shit. Well, definitely, and I definitely believe in voodoo too. Oh yeah. I believe yeah, in that. Yeah, but again, yeah, I believe in that shit too. But again, that's also part. That's what I'll be. I'm an Asian friend. That's I'm part of what I'll be like. Told if me. People, like, if people sit there and like, they look at movies, they be like, oh, it's just a movie and all that. I'm like, yo, oh, that's just where do you think they get these ideas from, bro? Mm -hmm. It don't just come out of nowhere. Like, no. They see no. it somewhere. There's an article somewhere in the past, years ago. Before that movie was even thought of, that right. they seen, or you know, one of somebody else seen, and then it just got carried on. Yeah, my yeah. family they used to talk about this voodoo lady in the neighborhood. Um, there's always one in, in the neighborhood. There's always... yeah, that, that, no, there was this lady. I never forget growing up hearing about this lady who used to tell people things to do to like help their relationships. And I never forget, they said that my one of my aunts did it. Well, she's not my biological aunt. She's like a friend of the family, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyways, she did it. And literally, the nigga like just accepted anything she threw at him. Like she could cheat on him. She could do anything. He would just beg her to stay. And even to this day. And then um, there was another situation where a lady came up to her and cursed her out and the lady tore her. She said, you will never use that hand again. And the lady literally has a little arm. Now, I don't know if they were just telling us like stories because we was kids. Just be like, oh, that's why her arm like that because the voodoo lady. But... But pay like this, yeah, that voodoo know, shit too. That voodoo nah, shit too. I said it's, it's always one because it was this lady that, that uh, in our neighborhood, like the neighborhood we used to live in, uh, used to always hear at night doing some type of chant in her room. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, like that, that yeah. Me yeah really she had a window dude. open and everything. Like, Y'all gotta start believing, man, because all that shit is real, yo. But that voodoo, yeah, that, that witchcraft shit, yo, that is definitely some shit with Satan, yo. And that's what No, that's, I believe. I do. I, I believe that. Like, I, I believe. His I job, y'all gotta but... remember, his job is to trick you up, have you go crazy. Well, he mm -hmm. definitely tricked me because trick I used to always say, control. like, I used Faith, to always say that. that's yeah. his job. And I used to always think me. that they motherfuckers used to listen. I used to be like, if that's if that's something, I used to be like, I said I used to go back and forth with my mom about it, and I'd be like, mom, well, I think God gave him that gift because they tell me what I need to know. Like you know, like I used to just always come up with excuses, but like now, like I told you, it's been months since I I went. You know, it's been months, but. That shit, like, I don't, like I'm going to have to really call Listen, uh, you know, my, one, my one of the worst things that people, like, don't realize is angels can manifest themselves into, to, like, regular people, but so can demons. That's why when you be seeing, like, people kill kids or, you know, shit like that, a lot of the times yeah. they're, they're possessed. There's a special demon for that crime. You know, somebody yeah. rape the person to rape somebody. There's a fucking uh, demon for that person to kill somebody. There was a video where this girl she was possessed, sir, 
and she was still possessed, you know, and they were talking to her. I think it was like a pastor or someone talking to her, you know, and he was just like, what happened, you know, and she was like, she wasn't supposed to go. She wasn't supposed to go. Like, she was so angry, you know, and then he was like, who was supposed to go? He was like, the girl that we were supposed to get, if she would only just made that one turn, and he was like, made that one turn where? She wasn't supposed to turn the other way. She went into that church. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to get beat when I get back down there. He was like, beat, beat by who? He was like, by Satan. I'm going to get beat. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to get tortured. I'm going to be bad and shit like that, yo. So I was like, oh, shit, yo. Like, this chick, like, was like, not no chick, yo. She was really a demon. And they were saying that he, that demon was upset because he didn't get that person sold for Satan because that person walked into the... Uh, to church and end up getting baptized instead of you know what wow. I'm saying instead of that person end up dying and getting Satan and going to Satan that person end up going to church get baptized and the, the person that was possessed the demon was upset because now he got to go back to hell and it's going to get beaten by Satan right I was he failed like, his mission exactly that's exactly what they said, you And I was like, whoa. You ever watched it? Y'all ever watch the show uh Supernatural? Yeah. No, I seen commercials. Yeah, I seen commercials too. Y'all seen that show. Yeah. What about yeah. it? They just they just put a lot of info in that. Like it's it's like the angels versus the demons. And they be going to Earth. They both be going to Earth, angels and the demons. And it'd be like a spiritual war going on for real on Earth. Like mm -hmm. that's pretty much what that show about. And then you got the ones in the middle, like the hunt. They they play the hunters. Like they actually hunt, the, like some of the demons, like a Constantine or whatever. But like they just they regular people. They regular humans. Like, and, but they be given like spiritual weapons and all that to get rid of them. I mean that's just all to make the show good. That's not the point. The point is that they really be coming on Earth, but on both sides. And it's yeah. like a it's like a spiritual battleground for real. Yeah, yeah. Like all that stuff is real, yeah. We we're, we're in that, a spiritual war. We're in the Satan and all that. We're in a spiritual war they that just, we can't. They mind is gone. They so we can't see. We're in a spiritual war that we can't see. Yeah, man, that's the and some so people, about it. some people ain't even people. Exactly. That's like, let yeah. me tell you this. You ever talk this. to a person that's like, how are you even a human? Dude, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, show. Um, one time, um, yes. me, and my, yes, I know me and my youngest <laughs> child, mom, was, was at Krispy Kreme, right? And they, I ordered my stuff at Krispy Kreme, and then he told me I had to wait. So I said, all right, I'll wait. So as I'm waiting, I see this guy sitting down, you know, and I see him get up, and he asked somebody for some change, you know, but he was looking sad. You know? I mean, he was looking real sad, you know, so... I asked, I said, hey, sir, come here. I said, hey, man, like, what's going on? He said, yeah, I'm just asking for a chance to get on the bus. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, pre like, get nobody business. I'm like, that's an easy chance to get on the bus. So, I ended up giving him, like, I think I gave him way more than what it cost to get on the bus. And he was like, oh, my gosh, thank you, yo. Then you don't know how long I've been out here trying to get on the bus. Like, I just trying to get home. That's, that's what he just said. I'm just trying to get home. I said, no problem, no problem. So the lady came out with donuts, and she gave me extra donuts for waiting. And I was like, hey, man, come come here. I was like, here, man, you can have these ones. And she gave us more. And he was like, thank you. So I left. So as I left, you know what I'm saying, I swear, something talked to me, yo. Basically, it was like, you just did a good thing. Something said that, like, you just did a good thing. And I never thought nothing about it until, like, I think it was, like, a couple days later. All right. I got paid. And I got way more money than what I was supposed to get. Like, way more money. Good deeds. So, but hold on, though. Mm -hmm. So, I talked so I talked to my uh, my friend, Gerald, because that's the one who's in the Bible. And I told him about it, yo. He said, yo, what could have been was, yo, that dude that you helped, he could have been an angel. He could have yeah. been an angel. He was like, yo, you could have, you know what I'm saying, gave him 
you know what I'm saying, with everybody else, you said everybody else was dogging him, right, I said, yeah, he said, yo, you gave him money, whatever, to him to go home, you don't know where he live at, so you don't even know if he was talking about his real home, and he probably looked up and was like, God, bless this dude, like, he just helped me when nobody else could, and that's what happened, and I was like, yo, I didn't even think about it like that, you don't believe that. Not only that, it's like you put you put good out into the universe, you get out into the world, you receive good back. Well, you always gotta realize. Mm -hmm. But you gotta be, of... but you gotta be genuine with it. You can't just be like, oh, yo, let me go help somebody out real quick, so I can get something in, in return. return. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's not. It don't work like that. Like you yeah. gotta be genuinely. Like in your soul that like helps that person. You know, you know what or, scares you know. me though. It's our, it, and I don't really, I rarely get scared of things, but the shit that scares me the most is revelations in the Bible. Is me? I don't want to be here when that happened. Mm -hmm. Cause, cause yeah. that, cause that well, sounds yeah. like, cause that sounds like it's going to be. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. exactly. You know what I mean? I mean, granted, you, you get to see, you know what I'm saying, your father and everything, but I don't want to see him, like, like fighting demons and Yo, you thing, know all that crazy? stuff. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Because I was looking into all that, too. Yo, like, with these, um, because, you know, the, the, the industry and the movies, they all, they all controlled by, you know, who, you know what I'm saying? Some evil people. Yo, you ever peep, yo? They always try to make these, like, these uh, alien invasion movies. Yeah. Like, like Independence Day. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, all, like, all them genres. Yeah. yeah. Yo, you know what's crazy? Is they do that. And, okay. Yeah, it's crazy. Because they do that. But really, the, 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 they say the aliens that's really coming down. That's is Jesus and his angels. Yeah. 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 That's where that that's where like they the really got that open. from. Me and my kids didn't get separated. That's it. You know, uh, it it's, it's crazy yeah. though. It's crazy because like it, it's crazy because like when you really think about it, even here on <sighs> earth, like who's the real devils? It's the white motherfuckers, yeah. You know what I mean? Not because it's the white motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it like that. It's the white motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it like that. It's the white motherfuckers. Family. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, hold on. Now I'm gonna tell you why. Because if you trickle down, go all the way back to the history, go all the way back. People saying, "Oh, not all of them," but I guarantee their ancestors. Their ancestors, I guarantee, nine times out of ten, they were racist and they were with everything that a mob was with about killing black people, about raping the Indians and all that shit. I guarantee it. So you can't say it, not all the white people. Gotta do with us. What do you mean? They don't want to yeah, start yeah, shit. You got, you got they started shit. That. You know what I'm saying? Think about it, cause they the ones that started. Hold, hold on, though. hold on, hold on, hold on, Jules. Okay. Think about it. They the ones that fucking crucified Jesus. Period. They started everything. So you saying all white people? So you saying all white people was evil? I'm not gonna say. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna say. I, I'm saying. I'm saying white people. I'm saying white people. I'm not saying all. I just said white people. Okay, because they the ones out here starting the war. They the ones out here trying to be their own gods. I do believe white people, not all, but a lot of them. Are yes, inherently evil. Inherently yes. evil. It's just a part of their culture. Their make. Yeah, it's just a part of who they are. And he black people, culture. I feel like we. I feel like <laughs> black people are inherently Survivors. forgiving. But then you I got. Like but then you got. But then you got black people. Then you got you know some black people who thinks that they're white that that does not like black people. Yeah, we call, them, we, call them coons. we call them coons. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, I, I said you got a lot of white, you got a lot of white people too that go to bat 
And I, yeah. I, I'll be the first to say, like, me and Jay, me and Jay, me and Jay, we work together. We work at Comcast, like, we feel missions. Mm -hmm. I lie you not, Jay. I will, I will attest to this, bro. I don't know if you experienced it yet, but every time, like, we be in rich neighborhoods sometimes. Like, I go to the white rich neighborhood, and they be mad cool. They yeah. be mad cool. They, yeah. like, they offer you stuff. They, like... They like, yo, you want this? Like, I got a whole meal, fresh meal, one time at a customer crib. Like, it was takeout. Like, trust me, I don't trust everybody cooking. But, <laughs> but uh, they offer you stuff. They give you like tips and money, like gift cards and stuff. But see, but hold, on, but hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do they look at you like your charity? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly. But yeah, that that could be true. That could be true. Yes. <laughs> But, but not only I that, G. To, I go to. Oh, listen. I go to a, a wealthy black family home. Well, that, that, like, like, rich, some rich black folks. Yo, they are the most disrespectful, evil people. Exactly. I, I cannot hold on, stand now, hold them. On, yo. Now, hold on. Now, hold on. Now, hold on. Now, hold on. Now, why do you think that? Now, why do you think that? No, that's some question. Now, why do you think that they like that? Yeah, because dog, like here's the you you, you just posted something about gatekeepers, dog. Mm -hmm. They don't want to help you. They don't know. Nope. They don't want to like. It's just something wrong with them. Like okay. I don't know what it is, dog. But like they 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 rude. They, like yeah. you come in the crib, they gonna be like, well, I hope you got some booties on your tims and all that, or no. your boots and all that. Get my carpet dirt. I'd be like, yo, nah. Like they act like you got some type chill. of disease. You know what I'm saying? All right. Like now, let's take it a step further. All right. Now, don't y'all think? That's the reason why God put us where we where we at. She don't got her number. You know what I mean? What you mean? Like that's why God put a whole like that's why we're we're down basically at the bottom and not at the top. All everybody's not like rich and all that stuff like that. Because in heaven, the ones that actually make it to heaven, that's who's gonna be rich. Because rich he knows that he knows spiritually spirit rich. No, we're gonna be rich, period. We're gonna have mansions and everything, but he knows that when motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, get that type of money and stuff like that, they start changing. They start turning their back. You know what I mean? Yeah, because That's people what... forget where they came from. That's a lot. That happens a lot. That that happens with people that's I mean, like if you really, you know, look at drug dealers and stuff, you know, they they they, they started from the bottom. You know, but then they got all this fucking money. They don't give back to their community. The same yeah, community but, they're selling. And, yeah, you know, but, they don't give back. Yeah, but the drug they dealers are bad technology to use, yo. Because <laughs> you, you, you selling drugs, yo. You already doing the devil's work. <laughs> You're killing your people. Nah, I'm saying. I'm saying, like, you know, <laughs> let's just say people get no, money. Just and people get what they just talking about don't, getting people don't, getting don't, money, period. Just, yeah. Like yeah. getting money, but even yeah. rich, but even rich people too. Like even like even like people that, black people that became rich, all doing all like legit work. You know what I'm saying? But half well, the time on. they but don't just... get back, or they only give back because they getting something. They know they get something they rich, like a tax write right. off or something. But even but like even that. but even these white right, folks, right, right. like you just said, oh these white folks gave me this, that, and a third. Okay, but you, we just got finished talking about the music industry earlier, yo. These white folks is giving all these young black people, you know what I'm saying, the money, the cars, and stuff like that, but they got to give up something else, though, in return. Oh, yeah, So, yeah, so yeah. these white folks will but give I, I you... I ain't just talking about, uh, like, it's just anything, like... I'm just saying, though. You have a I, successful business, like, legit, like, a legit successful business, you know what I'm saying? That black, yeah. like, sometimes that black family ain't trying, trying to do nothing for their community, you know what I mean? They just out for themselves. They like, oh, well, I work hard for this, well, well I'm going to do that for them. Not knowing... That God don't want you to be like that, so that's why you see some of them business folding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah. You're on a lot of debt and stuff. True. Give it back, yo. I but they also, you no know saying not not to take on nobody's size though, too though. But a lot of times though, them black folks, so it be your own people that like fuck your shit up too though. They be the ones that break into your fucking establishment, oh, yeah, and rob yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. You know we what I'm saying? Seen that, we just seen that doing the riots out here in Wilmington. I don't exactly. know where y'all live at. Do y'all have riots? Do y'all have riots going on? No. Uh, no. The, um, the John when they killed the uh, what happened, Jay? When the um Floyd, the boy got killed. George Floyd. 
We yeah, had yeah, protests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they riot, They supposedly rioted in Atlantic City, but um, I didn't no. live out here when I was. No, well, actually, they I did. Rioted. They, I they was rioted. They rioted. We live where they was rioting. Yeah, I, I live. Like, I, I see it. it. I drove yeah, through it. Was it. Was going on. That's how it started out. That's how it was Yeah, it started out as a protest and then around like 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, they started riding. You're like, the cops is like, motherfuckers is riding. He was working that day, too. Like, women tend to ride in like crazy. And that, and like, they black people, like the black owned stores. They black, the black people, they had the right that it was a black owned store. Yeah. So they didn't break yeah. into it and stuff. But we the had thing is, kids, so we didn't have um, no riots, though. The thing yeah, is, it's crazy yeah. out here. They had the, the riot, they, 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 yo, they yo. The riot gear and everything. Yeah. The thing is, they on both sides of the playing field. They win regardless. Yeah, they yeah. wanted us to riot. COVID fucked up businesses like crazy. They oh, wanted yeah. us to riot because you know what? A lot of those businesses that y'all destroyed, insurance. they did. They fucking got insurance, insurance and they didn't have to close down their business that they was losing money. They got all that money back that they wouldn't even have made because they was already losing business because everybody was in the house. Yep. They be winning regardless. That shit crazy, yo. You know what they were doing? They were literally having garbage trucks or whatever the type of truck, the terminology is for the type of truck it is, bringing bricks and just laying random brick piles yeah, I heard about that. around I heard the process that, yeah. Yeah, I to seen give that people things to throw. Yeah, I've seen that in Minnesota, yo. Can motherfuckers expose to help with the market. Yep. To help with the fucking market. Say, but see, but that's the thing, though. Do you think that came from a black people or do you think that came from white people? Yeah, no, no, no. We know, we know. I always say this. I always say this. It's just like it's just like how they crack in the in the hoods. They the ones that started like government. They the ones that put all the drugs and guns and you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. in the neighborhoods and the black communities and all that. And it's crazy. It's true because they win. They win regardless, show. So they get us to sell the drugs, us yeah. to, to 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 carry out the illegal guns. Then mm -hmm. if you get caught with it. Guess what? You ain't, they ain't got no ties with you. You going to jail. They went in again because they getting paid again because they yeah. didn't put you in jail because they get a percentage because they keep the mm -hmm. prisons full. They win it. They right. just keep winning over and over and over again. Right. Yeah. Let me tell you this though, dog. That's you why. Know what I mean? No matter what we do, you know what I'm saying? We can rise. We can, you know what I'm saying? Have a whole city, a whole state to ourselves. Yo, the motherfuckers not going to like it and they're going to try to do something to destroy it. They, they shut don't want to see. Yeah, they shut it down. Yeah. That just shut it down. You think about it. Remember they bombed. You know what I'm saying? Black Wall Street. Black yeah. uh, black folks had their own shit. Yo, they bombed it. Yo, you know what I'm saying? We had now, Black the Party. They broke it up. We had Malcolm and Martin. They shot them. They killed them. You know what I mean? Every time they and they said they so. We would not have a black messiah unless we create yeah. one. Yo, that I came out. That, that came that. out of the fucking president of the United States mouth at the time. Yeah, I just seen that where he they was talking about that. They was like, yo, they they was like, even the the leader was like, yo, we can't have a black messiah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be too much. It's gonna be too crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's and they was like, Martin Luther King, he's the dangerous man walking yeah. right now. You know? Exactly. Why do you think they created Obama for people, for people, black people? That's what yeah, that they, wanted, they wanted. They knew. They knew the after effect of Obama. That's why they knew that after Obama. Well, they knew the after effect of Bush. Be, be open the door for Trump. Yeah, they, yep. that and, that and they knew the after effect of Bush because they knew how how much Yo. fucked up Bush did. And they was like, well, shit, we might as well get a black person to, to, you know what I'm saying, to take the blame for Bush's mistakes and have to, you know what I'm saying, clean up for his mistakes because he fucked up a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like think a, about it's this, like a, right? Okay. Think about this, right? So they had Bush fuck up the White House. They had Obama take the fall for it. Then they had Trump come, right? The racist guy bringing up racism and all this shit, right? Mm -hmm. Making white people look bad as fuck. Now they got Biden in there, who's basically going to shit on every president that came before him. Like, meaning, like, be, like, the holy grail because he got the black people right. loving him because he got rid of Trump. Mm -hmm. He got the white people loving him for because he's not that bad. But then they got Harris. Yeah. Vice president. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, 
they got him going for the gay people and giving the gay people rights that they knew they wasn't going to let Obama do none of that shit regardless because Obama mm-hmm. couldn't do shit regardless. But now they're going to let Biden do it to show like, yeah, y'all love Obama, but look, he better than ba- o- Obama and Biden. Trump. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know the narrative. Like, the they push the narrative. It's all yeah. The yeah. Oh, this is, that's why. Why y'all think? Why y'all think? Let me ask you this, show. This motherfucking Trump incited a riot where niggas got killed. All right, niggas got killed at the Capitol Hill. Yo, this nigga was basically found not guilty. He was found mm-hmm. not. He was basically found not at fault. Yo, now please tell me, how was a nigga that got on the TV and told motherfuckers to do that found not guilty? But if a motherfucker, if I break into a motherfucking house this time at night, okay, I'm fucking going to jail for 20 fucking years. And I don't even got to kill nobody. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's just, the system is all fucked up. Mm-hmm. Those motherfuckers, those motherfuckers <laughs> ran up in a fucking Capitol Federal building, put their fucking feet on desks, took shit, you know what I'm saying, did all this, that, and the third. But my fucking people who marched, you know what I'm saying, for Black Lives Matter, just to tell your motherfuckers that our lives matter, couldn't come fucking two blocks away from that fucking same building when y'all had the fucking riot gears out, you know what I'm saying, the, the, all that shit out ready for us, like we was ready to go to war. We was trying to do a peaceful protest. But that's these motherfuckers I, like, came for war and they didn't do nothing. Yeah. That's why I just can't. I just can't. It's like I know way too much shit to like really yeah. like fuck with those kind like that. I, I mean like, all that, yo. Yeah. yeah, it's just too much shit. I, I don't, know. I don't live for the hype. I don't go near the hype. I, that's why I don't yeah. care about living in no major city. Nah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, they can have that, yo. Exactly. Yeah, right. But at the and end of the day, they got yeah. freaking what they got they called what is it called? Disaster actors. Oh, you talking about, about um that? yeah, you talking about the um the actors who every time that something happened that just be the same actors crying and shit or be at that same place. They have literally yeah. actors yeah. for disasters. Like the John, the John that happened in um the joint that happened in uh, Orlando Florida. with the gay yep. club. Yep, Florida, yeah, the Sandy all Hooks. Acting, yo. All acting. It was like girl Florida, didn't shed a Sandy tear. Hooks. She was about, my son's missing. My son's missing. And then the boy that was like narrating the whole thing because he was like, you know, he's like, he's one of those dudes on YouTube that be like, uh, like pointing out the Illuminati stuff. He was like, yo, look at her, yo, she's not even shedding no tear or nothing. She was like, yo, my son is going. She was like, yo, look, she's trying to cry. But she's not crying. And no. then she was like, yo, why is you on here if your son's missing after that shooting? Why are you even showing your face right now? Like, Bro, shouldn't you be they looking showed, for him, They right? showed a female, like, a girl. Yeah. They showed a young girl at four different fucking places of shootings that happened. All right. Different I, fucking I still don't states. Even think that shooting was real, bro. I think all them. I think all them people. I mean, it was probably some real no. casualties. But I think they hyped it up. The majority of them. Yo, I think they living out of country somewhere, like with paid accounts. Yeah. They got enough to live off of. Like, they trying to push the gun law because they don't want us to have guns. Number one, hey. yo, I want to know this show, and I don't know. Marshall this law. this shit this shit is fucking like dear to me, yo, and it pisses me off, yo, how. My people get killed by these fucking cops, but a white motherfucking go in a black church, kill eight fucking people, and they take this nigga to Burger King. Damn. That shit pissed Wait, me off. Wait, that again? Black motherfuckers get killed for basically nothing. Selling cigarettes, selling CDs, doing nothing, Okay. George Floyd got killed for doing nothing, but this motherfucking white dude go up in a black church and kill uh, eight people in the church, and the cops took this nigga to Burger King. Wow. I never heard that. And they and they do yeah. all that because they know it's going to upset us, yo. They broadcast yeah. all that because they know it's up. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they know we they watch know we it. Gonna react to it. They that's know we what I said. Yeah, that's why. That's it's why I said that. Up, that's why. That's it's why I told you. They're profiting you. off of our protests. They're that's why I told you, Sheen. Yeah. I told you, Sheen. That's why you should have seen it. Watch that movie, American Skin, yeah. Because that shit right there tells you how it is. 
Oh, I never watched that. And I wanted to see that too. Yo, watch that yeah, movie. They, watch said, that they said it was bad. That's why I didn't want to no, watch it. They said no, it was really no, 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 no. That movie is good as fuck. And nah, it's... see, he's saying good. He's saying good, but we're not talking about that. You getting a different possession? No, of listen, by, listen, by listen. By that, that movie, listen. We mean like it's going to piss us off. Listen, no, it. hold on, you hold on. It's going to piss you off at the end, but that's what the movie's supposed to do. That's what makes a great movie a great movie if you get emotionally involved in that movie, and that movie gets you emotionally involved in from the beginning to the end. That's why I love that movie so fucking much, or. You know what I mean? Because it but makes you, know you feel like it makes you it makes you feel like, like some it's people not, not it's strong not, to, to it's, keep their emotions like it's inside. not yeah. so it's, like they put movies out like that to piss you off. And but it's now, not nothing to piss you off. It's not like yo, yeah, like no, it's not nothing. It's not nothing that you haven't seen or you haven't, you know what I'm saying? Heard, you know what I mean? It's basically like, like I said, I'm not going to spoil the movie, nothing like that. But, yo, but, but I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. It's some enlightenment in the movie. Not just yeah, in yeah, the we, movie. We the whole that. movie, the whole movie basically has a purpose. Like people keep saying, oh, yeah, it's going to piss you off. It's going to piss you off. It's going to piss you off. Dog, it, if, it, if it pisses you off, it's because you're just tired of, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the cops killing innocents. That's it. That's the reason why it's going to piss you off. And everything that comes after that. That's why it'll piss you off. You're like, we see this shit every day on TV. And we see this shit just like, what, a couple weeks ago. When uh, the dude James Blake got shot in the back seven times. And they said they're not even going to indict the cop who shot him. They didn't see nothing wrong. Yo, the nigga oh, got yeah, shot yo, in the back. I call everything that's going now on now the Purge. It's like the Purge movie. Yo, you ever see the first Purge? I've yeah. never watched. Not, never. The, not the first Purge that came out. Not the first Purge that came Me out. I never saw that. Out the first Purge. No, I never seen that. The, yo, it's called. It's it's the latest one that came out. It's called the first. The, it was like when they the movie's about when they started the very first Purge. And, and yo, happened? and guess like that joint is crazy. Like it's like yo, they had a whole. The government had a whole. Game. It was like, yo, I'm going to go to a poor, a poor neighborhood, a poor community, and guess where the community was at? Hmm. A dominant black community. Mm -hmm. It was like, yo, they was finding people to participate in the Purge experience just on that island. I think it was in, like, Brooklyn or somewhere. And they was like, yo, they had that joint on lockdown. Like, you couldn't even go in that project neighborhood unless you was a participant for that day uh, when the purge started. So this is a whole experiment. Now, mind you, they're getting people to sign up. They're like, oh, yeah, yo, I'm gonna, I want to kill. I want to do this and that. So it's like, all right, they get these people. And the purge start, right? You know, the little alarm going off. So they got everybody wearing these camera lenses in their eyes, like they recording everything, broadcasting everything. This is a whole black neighborhood. So what happened was they was like, yo, they knew it wasn't going to get enough views because only a few people was probably going to start killing each other. So this is what they had planned. They had, they had this already set up. They sending in fire squads. To take that whole neighborhood out. Like, I'm talking about the white government taking, like, going to Killing building by building. building. Building by building. They got machine guns, everything. And, like, I mean, the movie's good. You know what I mean? Because the, the drug dealer, he ended up, like, doing his thing because he had guns and all that. Like, black dude, you know. But the idea of the movie is it's like, yo, yeah. like they really had that set up thinking, oh, we're just going to kill each other. Nah, they had a plan to take that whole neighborhood out so they can like get the views so they can start the whole purge to be in the, in the, in the rest of the world. I mean, the rest of the, the U.S. But wow. they had to start it out in the black community. You know? yeah. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Yeah. Justification. That's why That's I said 
this whole joint is like the purge, yo. Why that why do you think like, why you think they call the projects projects in black neighborhoods? Like think about it. They call the ghetto well, who started it? Huh? Who started who started call, who started calling it the projects? Did black people start calling it the projects? Or did white people start calling it the projects? Million dollar question. Did they call it the projects because they thought it was an experiment to see how right. it would do? You know what I'm saying? Or the black people call it, I think it had to be like, what would be the projects? Like, why would black folks just call it the projects? I don't know. Shit, black people come up with the most craziest slangs nowadays, and you just be like, well, what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, but do you, you think that shit, do, you, do you think that shit was going to like trend worldwide? You know what I mean? Without no computer, nothing like that. Because think about the projects was everywhere. It wasn't just like in one city or one state, yo. The projects was called the projects everywhere. Right. And the black right. neighborhoods. You know what I mean? But now, listen to this shit, though. I watched this documentary many years ago. I don't even know the name of the shit. But the guy was talking about, you know, systematic racism, you know. And he was saying how in 2006, I believe it was 2006, this area, it was like this project, a million people died, a million black people specifically, or should I say minorities, died just because of the toxicity levels of where the projects were built. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Meaning that where these structures were built, like they put the white people's houses on the nice land. They built the projects on toxic toxic land where the chemical levels, the toxicity of the actual land that was built on was so high that it would literally kill the people and that those millions of people would have lived had they just lived in a better neighborhood and how that shit didn't make the news. Well, think about this. Uh, I, I can see that's yeah. still happening now. Well, it, it is still Absolutely. happening now. Think about it. Think about it with Flint uh, Water. Yeah, fuck, fuck Flint Water, Seaview Manor, Long Branch, New Jersey. Huh. Man, I, I, I grew, I grew up out there. Motherfuckers got cancer <laughs> because that that swamp was was nasty as hell, stinking bad as hell. Hold on, I go further than that. I go further than that, I go further than that yo. Paulsboro, New Jersey. Paulsboro, New Jersey. Paulsboro. They fucked up the water because fucking fucking um they had kept, they kept having fucking chemical spills and it would fuck up the water. Like, no, like they had to redo the like then there's a whole Long Branch because it, Long Branch was horrible. Like yeah. all the projects, like they redid them. Like even even if even in Asbury. They not they are starting to knock down all the old buildings and putting in you know new um right. new, new apartments and stuff. Even though everything yeah. is raised, you know I feel like they're trying to push the black people out because now we can't afford it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we, we they're doing it. that. They're doing that right now in Virginia. They're doing that right now in Virginia. All the projects they're tearing <laughs> all of it down, including like the places where I fucking grew up at. They turn all them down, and they're um, moving all the black folks back in bad neighborhoods and shit like that, yo. When they about to train, change that shit and make it for white folks, middle class, they said. But they moved all wow. the black folks out. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what they're doing now in Asbury, like literally right now. They're doing that. I feel like in Long Branch, Long Branch, they, they gave a lot of people housing. You know, they gave a lot of people housing. Yeah. But Asbury, they're not doing that. They're literally giving them 30 day notice. Like, we're knocking these buildings down. Like, y'all gotta go. Right. Like, it's fucked up. Shit, 30 days, that is not enough time. Yeah, they, they, they gave them a, a, a set amount of time. The people that used to live in the old Boston way, they yeah. gave them a certain amount of time. Y'all have to go, you know? Like, you know, some of them people moved to, you know, the other. The other housing apartments that was around there, but some, I don't know where the hell they went. You know what I'm saying? But, Let me ask you a question. Why do y'all think we tolerate the United States? Because I remember growing up. Because in, we're inherently afraid of white people. 
No, no, yeah. no. I'm saying yeah. though, I remember I remember growing up, yo, they used to say, Oh, we're the the best country, the strongest country, the richest country, and you know, the freedom of this and freedom of that, yo, but as I got older, I started to realize, realize. That, that was a bunch of bullshit. You know what I mean? I started That's realizing that exactly, you know, and, and, and you go to other countries, motherfucker, they got freedom too. They yeah, fucking rich yeah. over there too. COVID so, showed that. COVID showed that we ain't shit. Fucking so, Canada paid their Canada paid their um residents all that damn money, shut down the whole fucking place, and got COVID up out of there, and we still there, over there here six is, There is hold on, hold on, Jay. There is uh there is one country though that I know for a fact that don't let you cuss in public. What? <laughs> I forget where it was at, <laughs> but. They uh, <laughs> they give out fines and everything if you cuss in public and stuff. Get the Are you fuck serious? out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I, Fifty I, I, was talking. Fifty was talking about it because uh, they tried to get Fifty up uh, and uh, find but out nah, I, I've been heard of that before. Done. Before even that, though. I was like, oh, hold on. Find not out like where in public, like not outside. Done. Like if you in an establishment, like mm -hmm. like a restaurant or like um, not even a, even a club or something like that. Let you, uh, wow. let you do that. That's crazy. I mean, some people run their yeah. countries differently, but the majority of it is like, it is free. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, you're allowed to work where you where you qualified to work at. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, yeah. Man, like, it's other rich. Like, they made me think like Africa was like a third world country. Yeah? Africa is rich as fuck, yeah. Absolutely. And that's why they um killed Gaddafi because he knew that, and he was going to actually back the. He was actually going to shut down the, the banking systems and take over because, you know, money dollars are actually supposed to be backed by currency, and they're not. Africa is the only place in the world where you could actually match your money with currency like you could back that shit which means he would be able to shut down the central bank system and he was actually planning on doing that and that's why they killed his ass yeah it's scary and that's why like, china like is over there right now yes that's why china is over there because you know china they, it's just so fucking smart china's over there right now and they about to do that exact same thing they, that's why we china created china. That, that's we why china, china created yeah, but China's going to Africa because Africa, if you take, if you back your money with currency, you can basically take over the world. They're That's trying basically to build it. a hospital in like a day when this corona shit happened. They built a hospital like a day. No, yeah. I don't know. All I know is yeah. they're they not building no hospitals. They shut their shit down. Yeah, they they shut their shit down. Meanwhile, we over here dying. And they over here just, just good. Yep. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Yep. Yeah, and that's they, crazy. they created this COVID shit with the help of America, but really the people running that shit is fucking China because they bought, first of all, we already owe China hella shit. Yeah, it was they Trump. basically I think, bought I think, the. Mm -hmm. I think Trump came into some type of agreement with them mm -hmm. to get us. I don't, I don't you know. know, this I don't shit know. This shit came out, it was already, like, they already, he was already informed about it, but he never took it, you yeah. know, serious. Like, this shit been out back, like, wait, when this shit happened? What, 2020? So this shit was out 2019. Yeah, it was probably out before that. It was probably out before huh? that. Same probably was out before that. They had a whole movie out about, about it. Yeah. yeah. People, a lot of people don't pay attention to movies or, like, even, like, you know, like, little cartoons and shit. Like, they don't. They don't pay attention to it, but like, this ain't just mm -hmm. nobody's fucking imagina uh, uh, imagination. Like, right. Hey, yo, you know what I, I just thought about? Hey, it's true, man. Sorry to cut you off. You know what I just thought about? We literally paused the game for an hour and 30 and talk. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four I only, listen, I only remember where the fuck I was at with, with level we on or nothing. I, I, this game, I'm going down for the, for the 20th time. <laughs> I know I'm going down. I know I'm going down. No, but this is a good conversation, though. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's a full, it's a, 
this is, I think this we just talked cute. about everything we, this, 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 this is the episode of a podcast. Exactly. Right, exactly. That's a, this, what? This is a squad this, cast. Yo, this is a squad you know this, cast. Yo, that, yo, this podcast has been probably had like fucking 15,000 views.